Ahoy hoy and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Sumerian, looking about hmm, 15 years younger. Not a real doctor, by the way. <laughs> and today, we are going to go over the dankest memes from the dank memes from Site19 subreddit. Uh, I guess I should uh, uh, mention, I, I think you guys have figured it out by now, but I, I shaved my beard, despite... Uh, <laughs> enjoying all of the comments uh that showed up on my videos about how awesome the beard was uh it was, it was you know it's it's tough it's it's not tough actually uh it's just a matter of letting it grow but also uh it starts to be annoying after a while so i thought i'd get rid of it plus again i look much younger without it uh which is nice since i am vain <laughs> all right first meme when you realize that you can finally link 6K articles with an SCP number instead of the title. Uh, I think this was uh, people with dyslexia versus people with uh, dis... Oh, God, what's the word for that? I don't remember. Hold on. Dyscalculia. That's it. Um, yeah. <laughs> people with dyslexia. Rejoice. People with dyscalculia. Dyscalculia. Is it Descalculia? I don't know. I'm sure someone in the comments will correct me, though. Uh, anger. <laughs> so, uh, I have... It's, it's also easier for me, because I can literally just reference the actual SCP note. Because, like, I make a video, right? About SCP-6000. And then <laughs> I can't... I can't do even really a reading of it until it's solidified in. But, I, I mean, I can. But then the... Um, uh, then the content is obsolete when they pick a number. So it's nice that they actually have it now, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, <laughs> Dr. Sumeria is wrong about the rubber. You dare use my own spells against... I've seen, I've seen some of that video. Um, <laughs> does it, uh, it's interesting. Let's just call it interesting. Um, if, if you do happen to find it, uh, please don't be negative towards the, towards the creator. He's trying his best. Um, there was a comment, I think, on the meme itself that was something along the lines of, uh, he doesn't inspire a lot of confidence by disabling comments and ratings, but, I mean, if my point, I think I've said this before, if my point is that children are, uh, the target audience of the rubber, and then I make a video that is likely to bring the rubber fans to my channel then i have to take the standard precautions even though it's not uh content made for kids i should still take the standard precautions to make sure that there's not you know predators in the fucking comments which is the reason by the way that uh, youtube has started doing that on stuff uh and just in general removing interaction entirely um i think that's a responsible thing to do but you know you do you ah yes my favorite scp the red one? Yeah. Um, the thing is, I hmm, I don't think that's true. I think I've actually read at least one of them. I was going to say I've never read any of the... I've never read any of the red SCPs, but that's not technically true. I've definitely one that read the one about how the color red was an anomalous SCP thing. I didn't read Red Reality, and there's a couple of others. There's a lot. There's a, a lot. I, the joke here is, of course... That by saying your favorite SCP is the one about the color red, um, you, <laughs> you're actually referencing like half a dozen to a dozen actual articles, um, which is fun. The world is a cruel and unjust place. There is no harmony in the universe. The only constant is suffering. Minutes later. Oh my god, Black Rabbit Company. So this is another SCP that I started reading. And, oh my god, I hated it so much. And I just moved on. Well, I don't know if that's the right way to put it. It's been a while. Uh, and and saying that makes it sound like I hated it. But, like, I got it. I was starting to read it. And I was like, what is this? is silly. And then just it, it skipped it. Um, is it... Originally, it was Stealing Solidarity, I feel like. There was an SCP that got deleted by Von Pinsier. That was I th I think I'm remembering this right. That was related to the Black Rabbit Company, right? Uh, it's been a while. Yeah. It's hard to re it's hard to remember all of them now at this point. Like which which articles got pulled off of the wiki because the author decided they were going to leave. Ugh. Anyway, 
had a nickel for every time Dr. Sumerian edited his face over Palpatine's for a thumbnail, I'd have two nickels. Only two? Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. I feel like it would be more than two nickels. Haven't I done that more than twice? I mean, I'm gonna have done it more than twice at some point in the future, so this is already obsolete. Or it's not technically already obsolete, but uh, it will be soon. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it for this video just to make a point. Uh, <laughs> CP629, Mr. Brass rewritten. Uh, these little blood trails, I assume, are uh, indicating that the thing has been rewritten. Hole in the Wall got rewritten. Uh, Teenage Succubus got rewritten. Wait a minute. 1162. Because I wrote an SCP called Hole in the Wall. SCP. Is it also called Hole in the Wall? Oh, I didn't write an SCP called Hole in the Wall. Back before this. I don't know how old this is, actually. I can. When I was very first starting off on the wiki, I had an SCP idea. Oh, wow. That's how, oh gosh, that's how many ideas and articles and drafts I've gone through is that like, I'm thinking about a draft I wrote in 2004, not 2004, <laughs> 2014, that I didn't actually get onto the wiki because it wasn't very good. It was like my second or third attempt at an SCP, um, which was literally just about a restaurant. It was an anomalous restaurant. That was it was not a very good restaurant. I don't remember much of the details, but it was also an alternate dimension and all these other things. And it was called the hole in the wall. Uh, but I never actually posted it to the wiki. That's funny that I was thinking that was an actual thing when I hadn't actually done it. Anyway, I guess it already existed as an article title. Though, again, <laughs> again. <laughs> this is completely unrelated, but similar to the point I was just making. Um there was a new article that was posted up. I don't know. It didn't look like it was very particularly highly rated, but it was called Take On Me, which already exists as an SCP article name. And before that already existed as a tail name, which is actually, I think my tail is first, but I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, though that's been rewritten. Teenage Succubus was rewritten. Uh, I didn't know the SCP-031 was rewritten. I think some of these were rewritten because of... What's the name? Pixelated Harmonies uh, leaving the SCP wiki and uh, and asking that Pixelated Harmonies articles be taken off of the wiki. Uh, interesting SCPs that fit into and build upon established lore. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Always super weird, too. Like. I said this and I was having a chat with some other people about how it's kind of weird when adult content shows up on the SCP wiki, but it's especially strange when, you know, like a friend or a crit partner is like, hey, read this article. And they don't really mention that it's an adult article and you start reading it and you're like, wow, I'm incredibly uncomfortable. I don't like adult content uh, on the wiki. I mean, let, let's put it this way. It feels like the kind of thing that should be private. <laughs> So, and the wiki is, if nothing else, public, especially when someone's like, hey, read this. Hey, what did you think? Or you leave an up or a down vote on it. So it's like, that's just not, it doesn't fit into my view of how that kind of content should be handled. <laughs> okay. Dr. Clef after killing Hitler on April 30th, 1945. My job here is done. You didn't do anything. Um... This is funny uh, because, of course, the tale that they're referencing is uh, something I wrote, but hold on. Let's see if we. Yeah, here it is. There's a comment at the bottom uh, that I just had to address. Uh, it's always nice to see a meme about the doctors without it being about Dr. Bright is not allowed to do something. I have no idea if this is sarcasm or not, because the tale that this is referencing is called Dr. Bright. It's no longer allowed to do to utilize or maybe use uh temporal anomalies in order to travel back in time to kill hitler <laughs> and yeah clef shows up and kills hitler um in that article uh, it's in my series of clef bright and sumerian stuff uh that i put together a while back oh i should really write another tale in that vein those were fun those were a lot of fun to write they're all very uh silly too but yeah, the comments, it's nice to see something that's not about Bright, you know. No, that was, that's, that's what the tale's about, actually. Anyway, 
that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, there weren't a lot of memes this week that I was actually sent. I think I used maybe 75% of what I was sent. So it wasn't a very long list. Um, and yeah. Um, oh, special thank you to Yossi Posse, the guy who puts together my lists of, uh, uh, of SCP memes. Uh, it was actually his birthday on Sunday. So if you see him around or on the uh, subreddit, say ha well belated happy birthday and uh yeah if you like my content hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when i upload new videos and if you'd really really like to support the channel head on over to patreon.com forward slash d sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has it's nice to know that i am not alone out here and i will see you all again on Thursday.